welcome back so we have looked at the closed world assumption and let's look at a more powerful mechanism which is called circumscription it was divined by devised by john mccarthy is an approach that aims to minimize the extent of only some predicates the closed world assumption minimizes all predicates the generalized closed world assumption was a little bit more liberal uh, but circumscription says that you tell us which predicates you want to minimize traditionally these predicates characterize abnormality with respect to a certain property with respect to the intended default in inference and it can be done over a set of any specified predicates as we will see so when we have a rule mccarthy's approach adds another clause to the antecedent saying that in addition to being birds for example the individual should not be abnormal this clause is intended to catch the abnormal cases so this is a sentence in circumscription that for all x if x is a bird and x is not abnormal then fly is x essentially and what we do in circumscription is to minimize the extent of the abnormality predicate app predicate so we need to define a notion of uh, an ordering of interpretations so remember that an interpretation is a domain and a mapping from the set of relation symbols function symbols constant symbols to the domain so let i1 and i2 be two interpretations such that they agree on all constants and functions of the language we define the relation lesser than or lesser than is equal to as follows that i1 is lesser than or equal to i2 if for every predicate p that is being circumscribed the image of p is contained in the interpret in the in the image of p in the second interpretation so i2 is a larger image and i2 is a smaller image then we say that i1 is less than or equal to i2 and if we want strict uh, ordering then it should be less than or equal to and should not be um, the other one should not be less than or equal to the first one now we can define entailment and we use the symbol minimal it stands for minimal entail minimal entailment under the circumscription as follows that an alpha is entailed by a knowledge base under circumscription if for every interpretation i such that the knowledge base is true in the i alpha is entailed by normal entailment or if there is an interpretation i prime which is strictly less than the interpretation i and that i prime is entails a knowledge base so the knowledge base is true in that interpretation also so you can see that we are trying to minimize uh, the interpretation and what are we minimizing we are minimizing only the predicates we have marked for minimization which are the abnormal pre predicates so we also write this as saying that circumscribe the knowledge base with respect to the app predicate and that should entail alpha essentially we have used the symbol entailment minimal ent entailment here essentially so let's look at an example we have a statement which is from circumscription let's read it as all normal birds fly then we have said twitty is a bird chilli is a bird they are not the same and we know that chilli cannot fly so is it reasonable to conclude that twitty can fly essentially so we don't know we know that chilli cannot fly we know that normally birds fly and we would like to conclude that twitty can fly essentially so we minimize the app predicate as we said and then consider the normal entailment in the minimal model essentially so the minimal model if it's true in the minimal model then we are happy 
So, observe that this is the sentence in, in our knowledge base which says that if a bird is not abnormal then it can fly. If you play around with this you will see that you can say that if a bird cannot fly then it is abnormal essentially. So, abnormal is kind of in some sense the inverse of being able to fly essentially. Then if we have that bird chili which is there in the knowledge base and not flies chili which is also there in the knowledge base we can conclude that abnormal chili. So, any interpretation that we are trying to minimize of the predicate abnormal must necessarily contain chili. So, it must be present, but we do not have to have abnormal tweety because we uh, if we add abnormal tweety to that interpretation then it will not be the minimal. We are only interested in minimal interpretations. So, in the minimal interpretations of abnormality only chili will be there and in those conditions we can infer that Twitty can fly. So, remember that if this becomes true then this feeds into this formula here. So, if you are bird if you are a bird and if you are not abnormal then you can fly and therefore, Twitty can fly. So, here is a set of interpretations we have two abnormality sentences here either chili can be abnormal or tweety can be abnormal and there are four interpretations that are possible here which are arranged in the lattice under the less than or equal to relationship that we had defined. The, the biggest interpretation is when both are abnormal then the next two are where one of them is abnormal and the smallest one is where none is abnormal. Now, we want to see whether given this knowledge base on the top whether Tweety can fly. So, if you look at the topmost interpretation that interpretation is a model because the knowledge base is true if you assume that both these sentences are true or in the intention in the extension. But because both are abnormal neither chili nor Tweety can fly. For, for chili we already know that chili cannot fly, but in that model Tweety will also not fly, but is that the minimal model is the question. So, let us look at the smallest model the smallest interpretation rather is the one in which neither of them is abnormal, but that is not a model because we know that chili cannot fly and this implies that abnormal chili. So, that abnormal chili is not true in this empty interpretation. So, that is not a model essentially. For the same reason the interpretation in which only tweety is abnormal is not a model because we know that chili should be abnormal. And finally, in the interpretation in which only chili is abnormal that is a model and it is also the minimal model because there is no smaller model which makes the knowledge base true and in this model Tweety can fly. So, we can infer that Tweety can fly. So, this gives you the idea of circumscription. Let us look at another example circumscription can do a little bit more. So, if you have a knowledge base in which is similar to that, but instead of saying that chili cannot fly, we have said that one of them at least one of them cannot fly. So, as a small exercise I will ask you to show that at least one of them is abnormal this follows logically from the knowledge base. So, at least one of them should be abnormal. So, is it reasonable to con conclude that Tweety can fly or Chili can fly or can we conclude this uh, that one of them flies. So, we have said that we know that one of them cannot fly, but can we conclude that one of them can fly 
and we are basing this inference on our general knowledge that birds can fly in general essentially. So, again we follow the same procedure we minimize the ab predicate and see whether this follows. So, this is our knowledge base written in the bottom and you can see that uh, one of them cannot fly from which I had asked you to show that one of them is abnormal at least one of them if you read this junction like that. So, let us look at the same set of interpretations the topmost interpretation as before both are abnormal which is fine with the knowledge base so it is a model, but in this neither can fly essentially. Again the question arises is that a minimal model because circumscription draws conclusions from minimal models only where the degree of abnormality is the lowest. The smallest model is the empty model, but that is the smallest interpretation is an empty model, but that is not the model. So, we do not bother about that, but the other two interpretations one in which Tweety is abnormal and the other in which Chili is abnormal both are models essentially because the knowledge base is true. We have said in the knowledge base it should be entailed that abnormal Tweety or abnormal Chili. So, if at least one of them is abnormal then that satisfies the knowledge base essentially. Now, in the knowledge base on the left where Tweety is abnormal Chili is not abnormal. So, Chili can fly. So, this is in the interpretation on the left in which only Tweety is abnormal and that is a minimal model because there is no smaller model in which the knowledge base is entailed. Likewise, on the right hand side Chili is abnormal and it is also a minimal model because there is no smaller model in which the knowledge base is true and in this interpretation Tweety can fly. So, in one interpretation Chili can fly, in the other interpretation Tweety can fly. So, the sentence that Chili can fly or Tweety can fly is true in both interpretations. So, that is entailed by circumscription. So, we can infer that at least one of them will fly. So, obviously, we do not know. We have said that one of them cannot fly, but we are now inferring that one of them can fly. So, we do not know which one can fly or which one cannot fly that we cannot see. So, let us compare this with uh, the closed world assumption. This is a knowledge base that we just looked at in which one of them cannot fly and we said that we can show that one of them must be abnormal. Closed world assumption would simply add not abnormal Tweety and not abnormal Chili because that is the one that we are minimizing remember to the knowledge base and make it inconsistent. We have seen this earlier. Circum circumscription is willing to believe that one of them will fly essentially. The generalized closed world assumption will not believe that anyone can fly essentially because it has no reason to say that uh, uh, who is abnormal and who is not abnormal. It knows that one of the two is abnormal, but it is no basis to say that maybe one of them is not abnormal because unless we can show that uh, uh, if we could show that Tweety is abnormal, then we could add that Chili is not abnormal, but we do not know that essentially. So, given what we know generalized closed world assumption will not be willing to believe that anyone can fly. So, let us talk about penguins a little bit. So, look at this knowledge base. The first part is the same, but there is an additional sentence here. It says that for all x, if x is a penguin, then x is a bird and x cannot fly. So, under this knowledge base, can we conclude that Tweety can fly or Chili can fly? there is no difference between the two we can look at only one of them. So, from this statement you can show that this is this follows that penguins are abnormal. Now, for Tweety and Chili to fly or even for one of them to fly we need to minimize the extent of the abnormality predicate and in the minim minimal model there are no abnormal birds because we do not know of any abnormal birds essentially. Of course, we know penguins exist 
in general and that penguins cannot fly but we don't know of any penguin at all so if you are using circumscription you would minimize the abnormality predicate which would mean that there is no word which is abnormal so that would entail that there does not exist an x such that x is abnormal but having done that and having said that penguins are abnormal so if there is now nothing which is abnormal then it would imply that there is nothing which is a penguin remember this is like the modal modus tollens rule essentially so we are forced to complete to conclude that there are no penguins how do we get around this problem one way to do that is uh, to demarcate the set of predicates into two types one which have a variable extent and one which have a fixed extent so which are the ones which have variable extent these are these abnormal predicates because you know that you know we are playing around with that and that is a direct consequence of who can fly and who cannot fly but the fixed ones are birds and penguins because birds are birds and they will remain birds and penguins are penguins likewise so this will require a new form of circumscription in which fixed predicates cannot be minimized so let's assume that we cannot say that penguins don't exist or that the set of penguins is zero how do we know that tweety is not a penguin that is a next question that will come into mind because we don't know that and therefore we will not be able to infer that witty cannot fly essentially we know that witty is a bird but we don't know that it's not a penguin essentially and we have said the set of penguins is fixed so either witty belongs to that or it doesn't belong to that but what we can infer if that if witty were not to be a penguin then it could fly essentially so the next thing you might ask is can we say that most birds are not penguins essentially so given the knowledge base that we started with can we add the statement that if x is a bird and x is not abnormal with the respect to the property of being a penguin so it's a different abnormality than the one associated with flight so if x is a bird and x is not abnormal then x is not a penguin so we are saying most birds are not penguins so now will twitty fly if we add this statement to the knowledge base the answer is no unfortunately because we made penguin a fixed variable and we cannot minimize it essentially so remember that whenever we associate circumscription with a conclusion we are playing around with the extent of both the sets we are trying to minimize the set of abnormal things and we are trying to maximize the set of things which are not penguins but we have already said that penguins are a fixed set we can't change around with that so that's the problem with that so we'll take a break and we'll come back and look at yet another approach to default reasoning or default logic which is called default logic essentially